Hey everyone, welcome back to Xvolt Tech. This is a ThinkPad T60, which was released in 2006. It shipped with Windows XP, an Intel Centrino Duo, 1GB of RAM, and 60GB of hard drive space. ThinkPads of this era are known to be very upgradable, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I've already upgraded this laptop to a 500GB hard drive so I can dual boot Windows 7 on it, but I'm going to have to remove that later, as you'll soon see. It's pretty easy to open up this laptop. After removing the battery, I just have to remove these four screws. Now that I'm done removing the screws, I can remove the palm rest and disconnect the trackpad cable. Removing, removing the palm rest gives me access to the RAM, so I'm going to take out the two 500 megabyte sticks that are already installed in this. There we go. And then I can put in the replacement RAM, which is two, uh, two gigabyte sticks, adding up to four gigabytes. However, one thing to note with this model of ThinkPad is that unless you have the motherboard of a T60P, I believe it is, it will only recognize three gigs of this. Um, next is the removal of the keyboard, which is pretty easy. Uh, you just lift, and it's right out. There's another cable right here, but it's uh, not as easy to reach. And now we have access to the main guts of the computer. Obviously, we got the CMOS battery, we got the Wi-Fi card, and we also got the uh, GPU, chipset, and CPU. Um, it's not as easy to actually get this off because I've seen in some videos people are able to remove this whole thing with ease, but I have not been able to do that yet. Yeah, so this is the most I'm going to be pulling this thing up. And so if I remove these five screws, I'm going to be able to get access to the uh, Core Duo T2400 in here. And um, the nifty thing about this era of ThinkPads is that the CPU is modular. Basically what that means is that you can swap out the CPU for a new one. I'm gonna... So one thing you know that your uh, thermal paste is hardened if this thing has some trouble coming up. That happened to me when I was first doing this. I almost forgot to disconnect the fan. So let's unplug the fan. And now this comes out with ease. I forgot to take the screws out. I can just see, put on a Phillips screwdriver. I mean a flathead. Oh, there we go. Now it should be up. There it is. So this is the Intel Core Duo T2400. Came out in 2006. Carefully open the newer processor. This is actually not the maximum processor this computer supports. The maximum it supports is a T20, uh, T7600. Alright, that should be in now. Alright, <laughs> probably a little bit too much. Um, but okay, now I'm going to reinstall the heatsink. So that right underneath the Wi-Fi cables, right into the corner of it. Now if you are looking to upgrade one of these laptops, it is an M socket. CPU, so if you're gonna get an, and make sure to check the official Intel list because Intel does um, I mean uh, Lenovo does actually list exactly What processors work with this with this computer? Now that the keyboards back in I'm going to plug this thing into the wall And let's uh hope for the best Okay, booting up. All right, let's boot into let's boot into Windows Seven. Okay, so it's updated now. It shows the processor and the RAM, and also this updated. Show you a comparison on the screen of what it said before. Now it's time to reinstall the OS. So after turning off the computer, I reinstalled all the screws that I'd previously taken off and then inserted the Linux installation CD that I created. It actually took me a while to actually figure out how to install Linux, so I had to pull up a video to figure out the right configuration I needed. And once I figured that out, I just set up Linux as normal and left it to install.
Okay, I'm gonna have to use my phone for this because my camera battery died. So sorry if this doesn't look the best. I had to restart the computer because for some reason um, it got stuck on something. I had to remove the <laughs> CD as you just saw. All right. Let's do it. Linux. So good, it still kept Windows XP. Okay, I don't know what, oh! Focus, there we go. Linux Mint! Oh, mouse. I don't know why it didn't require me to put in a password. That was very strange. I mean, it did. Oh, there it is. So, now it seems that this ThinkPad is running a fully updated version of Linux Mint. And it was pretty much a success, except for the fact that I can no longer boot into Windows XP. But luckily I didn't have much on that partition except like, some old programs. Thanks for watching.